guys what's going on it is me Kelvy and today I'm going to talk about five ways on how you can win more gunfights in Rainbow Six Siege. Now I am a controller player on Xbox, I also do play PC as well sometimes. That has a 1.4 KD, I normally go from a 1.4 to a 1.5 and just hover around that area. That is also 2377 into champ. Now obviously champ is hard, is easier to get now because of rank 2.0. But I say I would have still been at least champ if ranked 1.0 came out now, due to me actually having a consistent 5 stack. So let's get straight into the video. The first thing I'm going to say is simply warm up. Now the reason why I say warm up is many times I've done an LFG post or something like that, people are like, oh this is my first game on and then do a horrendous, okay? The reason why you want to warm up is because of all because of muscle memory. Now if you come back from work right and you want to jump on siege you're not going to have that muscle memory if, or compared to if you've been playing it since you've been playing it at about 11 a.m and it is like now like 7 p.m you haven't got that muscle memory that you've been basically been playing all day you haven't got that muscle memory because you've been at work you're not touching controller you're not touching mouse and keyboard etc so what you want to do is you want to warm up for at least half an hour this is what i normally do so basically what i'll do is i'll go into t hunt what i have my matchmaking preferences to elimination or disarm bomb are well, both really really good to do elimination is just your very simple kill the enemies very simple good for lining up your heads trying to get as many headshots as possible and also your recoil control and etc just very easy run through it very quick i do this for about 10 minutes or you can do disarm bomb what is more in depth this basically when you, once you've planted the bomb you have loads of ai come after you now <clears throat> what this makes you do is because when i mean there's loads they is loads so you're having to think about your positioning your um crosshair placement you have to think about loads you, and one thing you don't want to be thinking about is your recoil control you shouldn't have to think about that basically you shouldn't be having to think about recoil control to do good what i'd recommend is doing elimination if you're better then do disarm bomb and then what i then do after is then do arcade and then i also do have a smurf account that i play if i'm not feeling amazing but I still want to play ranked and all, all my five stack is not on i'll jump on one of my smurf accounts what i'll just play ranked and then warm up like that the second one is a find your own sense now don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with copying people's sense if their sense is still in the same bracket so if you're a low sense player look for people that have low sense and then copy their sense if you're a high sense player then copy a high sense pl uh, player don't just copy someone else's sense because well they are really good at the game don't just copy someone else's sense because you're you did worse and they did better than you simple as that everyone has bad games everyone has good games and if you all keep changing your sense because someone did better or you'll just keep changing your sense in general the muscle memory that you have with that sense will change and it'll be out of the roof especially as a controller player as we do have like thumbsticks that we have to use if you didn't know that uh we don't have that much consistency with a thumbstick but the muscle memory is what makes having awful aim to a little bit more consistent now again controller players aren't consistent all the time that we do whiff like everyone whiffs you could be the best player you whiff i've seen some horrendous whiffs in my time playing i have whiff really bad it's hard to be consistent but if i keep changing my sense i'm not knowing how much i'm having to move left move right move up move down um etc don't keep changing your sense try and find your own sense stick to it trust me it will be it will help out 10 times more than you think stop keep changing your sensitivity and stop copying everyone else's sensitivity number three is learn the maps now you're probably thinking why do i need to learn the maps to win more gunfights now i understand why you might think that now the reason why is because it's very simple there's a wall in front of you okay you're holding it now if i'm a player right and there's a wall there and if i know that to my left through the wall is a door or in front of me straight through that wall is also a door i can just pre-fire through the wall to where the door is and i could get a pick learning the maps on where quite 
eye traffic areas can be through a wall will get you kills i have got i have literally got a folder on my pc this is called war hack moments then when i do get one i literally clip it put it into my war hack moment i'm gonna make a video sometime when i get enough number four on the list is don't play stupid okay so many times i've seen people swinging that they don't need to be swinging so let's say for example you're an attacker you have planted the bomb you don't need to be swinging the enemy you've planted the bomb all you need to do is hold and protect the diffuser if the defender kills you still has to defuse so play smart kd at the end of the day doesn't always matter to a certain degree people that say kd doesn't matter at all i don't agree with them but kd doesn't matter to a certain degree it doesn't matter but to a certain degree so what i'll rather is a 0.8 that is just holding the defend the diffuser okay and just wasting the time of the defender then we win the round to some high kd ego kid that keeps just swinging it and then dies and then we lose if we have if the attacker has the diffuser down what you want to be doing as an attacker is holding the diffuser wasting time you don't have to get the kill but you want to be holding at an angle where he could run out etc you don't want to just be swinging everything now there is a kind of the meta of the whole swing or be swung but there's times where you don't want to swing that is just over swinging you just don't want to play really stupid number five is have fun now this is kind of a weird one to talk about so if you, i do siege basically for content and sometimes i'll jump on siege and i'm just like i can't be asked playing siege that's just with any game now i know if i jump onto siege and start playing rank i'm going to do awful because i don't want to play the game i'm basically just playing it just for content and i'm not having fun and i know i'm not going to do good so i just won't play the game the reason why is because siege is all mental if you jump on the game in a bad mood you've had a bad day at work etc like your personal stuff and you've had a bad day i wouldn't recommend jumping on siege siege is a very can, can be a very stressful game but you want to be having fun with the game you want to be having a team where you're vibing you're having fun having laughs but you're still getting the wins and serious you don't want to be always in a bad mood when playing siege because it can also lower your your self down and make you do bad again i don't play the game when i'm in a bad mood if i've had a bad day at work or something like that i don't jump onto siege and play because i'm not in the right mindset you have to be in the right mindset if you're in a negative mindset you're not going to do good a lot of times when i'm in a positive mindset i just go ham i go really good like today for example if you look at my r6 track i've done uh, 15 games won 14 of them lost one and had a 1.47 but then if we go over to my R6 tracker real quick, I've majority of the time I am positive. You see here with the R6 tracker, majority of the time I am positive here, except for the last game, 0.25, horrible. That's why I came off. I didn't feel good. I didn't want to play any more games because I just did really bad on that game. And I was like, you know what? Tonight's the night. Played enough today. I'm coming off now. And I came off. I did really bad that game. I'll admit I did. So then I came off. The game before, I had a 2KD, did really good, really positive about myself. The game before, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 0.8 is not bad. But then you see here, majority of the time, I am going positive. Now, let's just use this this game as a as an example. This last my last game as an example. I did. I went. I believe it was like two and eight. It was absolute horrendous and i basically the other team was just better they would help, help hold an angle they would move when i drone them they knew that i drone them they played a lot of solace and it was mute so i couldn't really drone them properly they were just better now after the game i was like right okay i'm tired but well, it currently is 2 46 a.m in the morning when i am recording this but i'm like you know what? i'm tired i'm coming off i'm gonna edit do videos i just wanted to do something else i didn't want to keep playing siege that last game i did absolutely awful and it put me in a bad mood now you shouldn't always get put in a bad mood because you do bad in a game but sometimes it can get you don't get me wrong sometimes it can get you but just because you do bad in a game doesn't mean you come off for example i did 0.4 next game i got 2kd or here i went oh i got no kills one death i think 
and then I got 2.6 and the next game after I got 11 KD a lot of times you'll go negative but don't just because you did bad be like oh I'm off with this game blah 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 if you generally are just tired you want to come off come off always trying to be in a positive mindset instead of a negative mindset now if it's made any sense comment down below and if these tips helped you and if you want any more videos make sure you comment down below what video you'd like to see next i also do stream over on twitch or if you come and watch me i am live on twitch majority of the time that i play siege make sure you do come over drop a follow it would be very much appreciated and yeah i stream basically as much as i possibly can when i play siege and yeah if you need any tips while i'm live come over put it in the chat i will give you some tips and try and help you out but yeah see you guys later peace out